After 40 years, this wild elephant gave birth and gave birth to a surprise. One of the most amazing things that can happen on Earth is when an animal gives birth. Yet, in the untamed realm, anything may happen. A baby finds the outdoors to be a tough place to live. They have to fend off severe weather, find food, and survive among ravenous predators. The infant and its mother find it to be a challenging location, but that is all part of the wild beauty of nature. Occasionally, the fortunate chance arises for rangers, filmmakers, and explorers to see the gentle confusion of natural births. This wild elephant gave birth, and what came out was something no one had seen in 40 years. A mother buffalo fights lions while giving birth to her calf. It might be unsettling to give birth in the outdoors, particularly if you reside in an area where lions are common. Both the mother buffalo and her kid had a difficult task ahead of them. You'll be shocked by what transpires. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. The mother gives birth to her newborn under the woods as the other African buffalo are on the move. She is aware that giving birth inside the herd's enclosures is safe, having borne this calf for 11 and a half months. The primary purpose of this type of buffalo, often called Cape Buffalo, living in herds ranging from hundreds to thousands, is to fend against predators. She cleans her newborn calf, and soon enough it is standing. Mother buffalo in Africa maintain enduring, affectionate ties with their offspring. The calf is entirely dependent on the mother for up to a year while they nurse. The mother did not spot the pride of lions resting in the hills as she took her infant to a nearby watering well. Dot calves have very good senses of smell, but they don't have very good vision. Since lion's eyesight is six times greater than ours, they saw this opportunity immediately since they lack this trait. Running out in the direction of the mother and her calf, one of the lions charges towards what he believes would be an easy kill dot. The mother buffalo uses her horns and body to stave off the approaching lion as the two buffalo flee dot. They have a reputation for being the meanest creatures in the forest. A cape's weight can range from 950 to 2,000 pounds, and its horns are robust and pointed dot too. Other lions have managed to get hold of the calf while the mother is focused on the first one. A second buffalo runs at the lions, head down, sprinting at top speed and displaying its horns in an assault. Although the lions flee to the side, they do not give up on their meal. Now that they've entered the fight, the two lionesses are circling the calf while keeping their sights fixed on the capes. Got the cape. Buffalo are not the only animals that cooperate. Lions are not the only ones. To defend the calf, the group's bigger males enter the fight dot. With their overwhelming power, they drive the lions away. And the moment the lions retreat, the herd encircles the calf. Nothing short of a miracle occurs next. The calf stands up and joins its mother and herd. It's not their day, but that doesn't stop the lions from giving it one final go. This is a victory for the wild buffalo, and the infant gets to experience its first day of life. The young African buffalo has gone through a great deal in its short life. It will be fortunate to escape the grip of nature after such a difficult day. The tale of this infant fits with a larger, cuter group that creates its own luck. A baby hippo was saved from ravenous crocodiles. Here is a bunch of safari travelers having a great day on the Maasai Mara River. They had no notion that anything extraordinary was going to happen. They truly believed they were going to witness something terrible. Kenya's breathtaking Maasai Mara National Reserve borders Tanzania's Serengeti National Park. The list of enchanted creatures that may be found there is extensive and includes lions, jaguars, hyenas, cheetahs, elephants, and rhinos. There are hippos, crocodiles, wildebeests, and one minor miracle in this specific tale. The water was attractive to everyone, and the sun shone. 
crocodiles sunbathed while the wildebeests crossed the lake and drank. Some of the biggest crocodiles in Africa, reaching lengths of up to 16 feet and weights of up to 1,500 pounds, may be found in the Mara. Fortunately for them, crocodiles choose the ideal size meal, which is wildebeests. At 260 to 595 pounds, they would provide a satisfying feast for a large crocodile that could consume half its own body weight. That day, the prehistoric species managed to capture a large number of antelope members due to their numerical advantage. But such is the nature of things. The crocodiles would be less likely to crave dessert after stuffing themselves with wildebeest. The nicest surprise of the day turned out to be that dessert. A mother hippopotamus gave birth to a cute baby hippo as bystanders looked on. With an average weight of 3,000 pounds for females and up to 9,900 pounds for males, hippopotamuses are adorable creatures that have the ability to smash any other animal. They are pure force. Don't mess with them. Their tusks and prickly temper provide power. Approximately 500 individuals are killed in Africa every year. They don't care who or what gets in their way when they're angry. The safari guests saw that the crocodile that had been tanning had vanished. Its eyeballs shot up to the top of the sea. As it approached the baby hippo, the bystanders stared in horror. You can only image how protective a female hippos would be, as they only give birth to one calf at a time. Dot, the crocodile had a brief minute to decide what to do. Swim or challenge a mother twice its own weight, and, more importantly, a father prepared to defend her. It made perfect sense. The cute calf did not realize that its life was in imminent danger as it comfortably swam with its family. In the untamed territories of nature, this was simply another untamed birth. We're going to wrap up with an uncommon birth tale that will make you smile. If you've been enjoying these thrilling tales, please consider becoming a channel subscriber. Please click the bell button to show your appreciation for the fact that the young animals were spared from extinction when this wild elephant gave birth. She gave a surprise that was unheard of in 40 years. The stunning surroundings of Amboseli National Park serve as the setting for our last tale. It encompasses 150 square miles in southern Kenya and is home to a diverse range of Africa's wild population due to its large array of various environments. However, its elephants are what make it most famous. These magnificent creatures number over 1,600 and are split up into 60 families, as well as a few tiny groups of single males. Rangers and a reputable elephant research program that was founded in 1972 are taking care of them all. They can survive in the wild with their protection, but they are still targeted for their ivory tusks. Elephants are sociable animals, much like hippos, although males often lead more lonely lives. Dot. There are a lot of moms, aunts, daughters, and nieces in herds. Researchers found that their relationships to one another are greater than those that we have with our kin. Dot. These kind giants are sentient beings with elaborate modes of expression. Dot. They exhibit compassion, altruism, love, sadness, joy, fury, and tension. Dot. It would be an unforgettable reunion if you were pals with an elephant and hadn't seen them in a while. Elephants may express their happiness by trumpeting, flapping their ears, or wrapping their trunk. Dot. The attachment between a mother elephant and her offspring is unshakable. The reason for its strength must be that it has the longest pregnancy of any mammal, averaging between 640 and 660 days, or almost 95 weeks. The female may only have up to four children in her lifetime if she survives to be older than 60. And that's what gives this narrative its amazing quality. A boy called Katitu and a girl named Nora were born to Paru, a 39-year-old pregnant elephant. Twins only occur in 1 to 2% of elephant births, or one birth out of every 100. 
At Amboseli, twin elephant births have not occurred since 1980. The elephant population is grateful for this, as their numbers are still declining. The biggest concern is poaching, which results in the annual tens of thousands of fewer elephants. Considering how low the birth rate is, this is difficult to maintain. Even though it's against the law to hunt these creatures, poachers continue to get away with it. Twins are particularly distressing because of their substantially greater death rate at birth. Park rangers were sure to monitor them closely, as well as Peru. As fortune would have it, the twins prospered. The rangers believe it was a result of Paru being a wonderful mother and the intense rain that followed the baby's birth. An experienced elephant mother puts a lot of effort into ensuring the survival and well-being of her kids. She will carry them across dips and ravines, position them beneath her to shield them, and hide them from the African heat. After giving them a shower with water shot from her trunk, she would give them a gentle body scrub. If they become lost, she will find them. If they ask for assistance, she will rush to them. Dot, because of their strong mother instinct, the baby elephants are secure, protected, and cherished. The other twins, Eclipse and Equinox, who were born 40 years prior, had lived lengthy lives and were now grandparents. Dot. They triumphed above all odds. Hopefully, Nora and Katitu will too. With the number of elephants continues falling, every single elephant is vital for the future of the species. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.